The day has finally come. It's the IT job interview of your life. This is what you should do, and this is what you should never do. Are you ready? Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. How are you today? I hope you had a great Easter and we're all back to work now, aren't we? On this week's episode, I thought I would take a quick look at one of the most common questions that I get is, Andy, how do I prepare for that IT job interview? Well, I got to tell you, there are some definite tips and tricks that you could definitely learn that will make your life a lot easier. And on this week's episode, I'm going to take a look at them. So make Make sure that you stick to the end because I guarantee you this could be the bit the difference between failure and success all right now if you've not subscribed to the channel come on board we love subscribers bump that subscribe button up there ring that bell and you won't miss out on the good stuff in the future and of course if you like the session please bump the like button it really does make a, a big difference to my channel now if you've got questions comments about this or in fact any of my other sessions then of course please just get them down below so i think without any further ado let's jump in and let's talk about things that you should do in an interview and things that you maybe want to think twice about let's take a look so first up congratulations you've managed to get the interview so they're already interested in you that's the good news now one of the most common things that i get asked first is andy what should i wear to the interview well if you did a search on the internet you could see sheets like this that say hey well things that you should never wear things like cargo shorts t-shirts and things it just looks really totally unprofessional and inappropriate. Whereas I have to be honest, on the far right hand side here, there's a tick against a dress suit and that's a bit OTT for IT. Personally, I think either business casual or smart casual is probably the way to go. So something like this for guys, so either, you know, nice trousers, jeans, smart jeans, good shirt, nice shoes not trainers is definitely the way to go uh, and likewise for the ladies if it was an interview to a bank or a financial institution it would definitely be something on the left hand side but you're going for a job in it so i think smart casual is probably the way to go they're more interested in your skills and what you can do so i think probably for both men and ladies this is something uh, this kind of look would look really good in an interview scenario. So you've arrived at the interview, you're sitting outside, you're nervous. However, you have to breathe, be confident, feel confident, believe in yourself. You got this. And confidence comes from many places. First of all, make sure that you do research on the organization. Make sure that you understand what it is that they do and the contribution that you are likely to play. This is absolutely crucial in an interview. So the moment has come and it's your turn. So you go to shake the hand and it all goes horribly wrong. So, depending on where you are in the world, there are certain customs that need to be adhered to. For example, I was in the Middle East and I went to shake the hand of a lady, and this is culturally unacceptable. So you have to be very careful what you do. In addition, of course, we have just gone through COVID, so again, you have to take that into account. But in most cases, a handshake and a good firm handshake is definitely an acceptable form of greeting. So the one thing that you need to appreciate about tech interviews, that it would be highly unlikely that you would be interviewed just by a single person, certainly in an early stage anyway. It's more likely that you're gonna be interviewed by maybe three or even four people. So uh, the key thing is that you're gonna have the HR manager sat there, you're gonna have the IT manager, and the chances are there's gonna be a representative from the team that you're likely to be placed in. So you automatically assume that the HR manager is the most important person. No. 
Okay, so obviously the IT manager must be the guy to focus all your attention on because he's the one that's asking you all the tech questions, right? No. And of course, the person on the far right hand side who's saying nothing, you'll just completely ignore her because you assume that she's not important, right? No. In fact, they're all super important. Obviously, the HR manager is there to do his job and ensure that he's hiring the right person. And the IT manager is there to ensure that he hires the right person with the right skills. But also, the person that you're going to be working with is probably sitting at the end of the table. And they need to know that you can not only do the job, but you're going to get on with people, that you've got a good rapport with people. So what kind of questions might you get in a tech interview? So ultimately, they're going to want to know about you. So tell them about your passion, your drive, your ambitions. Where do you see yourself in the company? You're always going to be asked about that difficult situation. And this is fantastic in an IT scenario because let's face it, we all find ourselves in difficult scenarios. How did you solve the problem? What did you do? What was your contribution? And they're always going to ask you, what are your weaknesses? Don't be afraid to tell them because that lets them know that you're willing to learn. And ultimately, why should we offer you the job always comes up. Again, tell them about your passion, your drive, your ambition and your dedication to the company. So ultimately, there are some definite do's and don'ts. So in terms of do's, be as confident as you can without being arrogant. Smile, be friendly and show that you're willing to be part of a team. You're a good team player. Set yourself apart from the other candidates. Sell yourself. I mean, you've, you've won your place in the interview process. Sell yourself. And remember, make sure that you actually ask for the job. Now, in terms of the big don'ts, try not to fidget. We know that you're nervous and they'll know that too, but try and be as confident as you can. If they ask you why you left your last job, um, again, don't over explain your answers. Nice, simple, short answers. And also don't try to be all things to all men as well. You remember, you're there to learn. You're there to be part of a team. And probably the worst thing that you can do in an interview is have bad body language. So like this, it doesn't work. Don't be arrogant and most importantly, never bullshit. They'll see you coming a mile away and you definitely won't get the job. So I guess the ultimate question is, can you visualize yourself doing the job? Do you understand the job that it's being asked of you? You need to know yourself, know your skills. Interview yourself. Try interviewing yourself in front of a webcam or a camera and playing it back even in front of your family members. But ultimately, practice will make perfect and eventually, my friend, that job will be yours. So as I say, first impressions really do count. I read a recent statistic that said 33% of HR managers have actually made their mind up within the first 90 seconds. So again, it's all about those first impressions. So finally, just be yourself. You got this. You can do it. And I really hope that this session this week has helped you. So there you have it. Just a very short session on job interviews and job interview skills. It kind of goes in conjunction with my certification videos that I've done uh, a little while back. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. Hey, and if you've got tips and tricks, then get them down below. I would love to know and everybody else wants to know about them as well. So go ahead and do that. If you enjoyed this session, please give me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And of course, if you've not subscribed, bump that subscribe button up there. Come on board with us and join our great community. All right, that's it for this time. You stay safe. I'll see you soon. Take care. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.